airspace, when you look up at the sky, is that volume of air through which uh, air traffic flows. We share airspace with White Sands Missile Range, with Fort Bliss, with Kirtland, and with Cannon. You can see subsections of airspace, and this encompasses different types in which we can do different types of missions. Green, slightly green over here, is um, an ATCA, Air Traffic Control Assigned Airspace, and it is uh, the volume of airspace above 18,000 feet above sea level. This other uh, bluish greenish type is a MOA, Military Operating Airspace, which goes in this particular area from 12,500 feet uh, mean sea level up to um, 18,000. Then we have the blue airspace, which are subdivisions within the White Sands Missile Range Complex and the Fort Bliss Complex. And this is how we subdivide the airspace into smaller chunks to make it more efficient uh, for Air Force training. Keep in mind that White Sands Missile Range uh, has the airspace subdivided in larger chunks for some of their test missions. We also have low-level routes, which would be indicated by this yellow uh, overlays. And in our low-level routes, we can operate down to 100 feet uh, above ground level. The airspace does overlay the towns at above certain altitudes. Uh, so here's Alamogordo, and as you can see, it is under the Wiley East ADCA, as well as Cloudcroft um, is also under the Wiley East ADCA. Uh, Rio Doso up here is under the Beak uh, airspace, um, as well as the Wiley East ADCA. All of this has been environmentally assessed, but part of that also includes ensuring that we log the location of every dwelling under those uh, low-level routes to minimize the impact to the public. So we do annual surveys throughout all of these low-level routes, and we fly on um, a local aircraft and capture all of that information. It is part of our job to ensure, per FAA um, regulations, um, that we avoid uh, any place where people could be congregating. Uh, and so we go out there, get the coordinates uh, while we're airborne, and then create a pretty extensive spreadsheet uh, which has all of this information, which we then um, distribute to the air crews, and they can log into their own uh, aircraft when they're going to go fly. And so they'll have an actual display of where each one of these locations are. Part of my job is to ensure that we minimize the impact to the public. Uh, and I take that very seriously. That's why we fly uh, quite a few hours over our, our routes to ensure that we log every single dwelling. We're talking over 30,000 square miles that we fly every year um, just to make sure that we have logged every residence that could be under, that, uh, under those low-level routes. Um, so this is not just where I work, this is where I live. Uh, I've lived here since 2003 and the community is very important to, to my family and I and to Holloman. Um, so we're not just living and operating out of Alamogordo, but this is our town.